everyone, so today I'm going to be talking about a film and I'm going to be talking about The Sound of Music. Now I'm not going to be talking about the stage production but the actual film itself where you can have the DVD and things. Um, although I just want to say I would actually like to see a live, a live version of it with Connie playing Maria. Now I had never seen Sound of Music until I think it was last week I watched it. I just never, I never, I don't, you know, I don't own the DVD, my mother does but I don't. I'd, I'd never had the opportunity to see it and I never really wanted to see it. That was until probably very beginning of last year. I watched uh, Caroline Ray joke where she makes a joke about the um, Ooh Mother Superior, I just can't face it. Um, then I won't finish the joke off because I, I can't, I have younger viewers. But you'll know which one I mean if you're familiar with either Caroline Ray or jokes about the show. Um, and ever since I saw that I thought I want to watch the show just so I can see that episode. I didn't think that I would care about it. I didn't think that I would connect with the film. I didn't think I'd enjoy it. But I still sat down to watch the whole thing just to see that particular scene, which turns out to be very near the end. Um, but I can now say I love it. I didn't think I would love it at all, never mind as much as I do. Anybody who knows me knows that I am head over heels in love with Mary Poppins. I absolutely love that. And there's a good chance that Sound and Music is on par with Mary Poppins, maybe even slightly just above. I cannot believe how incredible it is. Um, of course it is about um, Maria and she goes to look after the Von Trapp children. Um, there, she becomes a governess because um, her father's like rich and important and goes out of the country all the time. So she's there to look after the Von Trapp children. There's a lot of them. And to start off with they play tricks on her, you know they just think she's another governess. They're, they just, you know, they don't, they don't want her there. Um, but quite soon they realise that she's a bit different to most governesses and um, they start to be nice to her and then all of a sudden they just gel, they really bond. Maria loves the kids, the kids love Maria. Um, and then their father goes away for a week or two weeks or however long it was. He goes away for a long period of time anyway. And Maria is completely in charge. And she decides, this, she decides that this is the perfect time for the children to get some freedom because their father is very strict, he doesn't let them have fun, he doesn't let them sing or dance or play games. So she gives him, she gets, shows, so she teaches the children how to sing and that is basically what the show is about. Maria taking the children on adventures and teaching them how to sing um, and they are incredible singers, they are amazing singers when they are together. Um, the Von Trapp family singers are fantastic. Um, but of course her dad isn't happy when he finds out and it's, you know, is he going to keep Maria, is Maria going to stay, is she going to leave, is she going to be pushed out, what's going to happen. Um, and also what's going to happen to the children. So there are a lot of questions quite early on, um, but there's not so much that your head's exploding, you know, it's just enjoyable to watch, you don't need to think too much, um, although you need to think to, to learn the Von Trapp children's names. I cannot remember them all, I, I know maybe three or four of them, um, Gretel being the only name that springs to mind straight away. But you know, you don't really need to know their names as such, because it's about the family collectively rather than individually. Um, apart from the eldest girl, the eldest girl he seems to have quite a lot more scenes than the other kids, which is understandable. Um, but yeah, so it's just basically a very long musical. It's three hours, which is like, whoa. That's a very long time to be sitting still and watching a film, but it is definitely worth it. Um, films often tend to, dr to drag towards the end, especially if they're that length. But towards the, I don't know, maybe the last half an hour or something, it's set... Um, once Germany had sort of partnered with, with Austria because it's set, most of it's set in the early 30s and then towards the late 1930s when Hitler sort of enters and takes in. And for me that is amazing because you guys know I, I, I love history, I love anything like it um, and the world, the Second World War and the road to it especially is the thing I love to study most about history. So for, for that aspect for me is also just a little bit extra special because I can relate to what they're talking about. Um, so yeah, that is really nice. Now the songs themselves, there are so many great songs, um, but my favourite would have to be um, my favourite things. Um, Dory Me. I love that one. I sing that one all the time. Um, what else? I'm trying to think off the top of my head the names of the songs. Um, Edelweiss. I cannot stop singing Edelweiss. I just, I, there's a, I just keep singing it, you know, in my head. It's going round and round and round. The lyrics. It's so beautiful. I also like the goodbye song as well. Um, that one's really good. I'm not a massive fan of 16 going on 17 or how to solve a, how do you solve a problem like Maria. Um, 
or how to solve a problem like Maria. I'm not a massive fan of those songs, but I can still listen to them. They're not terrible songs. Um, yeah, so the songs themselves are really good. Usually in a musical, you'll get one or two songs that are so boring and tiresome and you just hate that scene. Um, but, yeah. The dogs just came to visit me, as you can see, as he always does, little villain. Um, yeah, but I find in this musical that there isn't really a particular song that I don't like that much. There's just sort of ones that I don't like as much as others, but there's none that I like really, really hate. Sorry, I've just went all confused and my mother came in the bedroom and distracted me. Yeah, so basically this is definitely a, a musical that I'm going to have to buy myself. As I said, I'm not the one who owned the DVD that I watched, but I'm definitely going to go out and buy it. I'll decide, I'll watch it again. And then I'll decide whether it beats Mary Poppins or not. Of course, um, the lead character in both is played by Julie Andrews, who is one of the, the most amazing actresses ever. Um, so either way, it's going to be a Julie Andrews film, being one of my favourite musicals. But I will watch it again, and then I will decide whether Mary Poppins is just under or just above Sound of Music. It does take a lot to beat Mary Poppins. Um, maybe the Sound of Music won't be as good the second time round. Um, but I'll find out. If my opinion changes dramatically, which I know it won't, I will update the video, but I doubt it. Um, but please feel free to leave comments and things and let me know your thoughts. Um, also let me know if you've not seen it as well, because I feel like I was the only person in the world who hadn't seen it. Um, but that's all I want to say for just now, so I will see you next time. Bye!